from the big screen to more famously on TV, Tony Sirico was a big star, a fan favorite for nearly a decade on The Sopranos. He had ties right here in West Michigan. 13 On Your Side's Nate Belt joins us now with his story. Throughout the show's six season run, Polly Walnuts Gualtieri spent a lot of time working for Tony Soprano here at the Bada Bing. Now in real life, the man behind Polly, Tony Sirico, spent plenty of time in Grand Rapids as well, visiting his brother Robert, who moved to the area decades ago. I mean, we were in the house together, but he was uh, almost 10 years older than me. 10 years older and a world apart when it came to interests. While Tony was living a rough and tumble childhood on the streets, and in Brooklyn in those days, you were literally on the streets. Robert chose to pursue a life in the church. I remember going to my mother once and saying, uh, you can tell me, am I adopted? <laughs> but that doesn't mean the two didn't love each other. It didn't hurt to have a brother like that when the bullies at the school would pick on you because he'd take care of it like that. <laughs> As they grew older, Tony fell into trouble with the law, even spending time in prison. Robert says that's where rumors of his mob involvement began to swirl, which he says aren't true. He was not a made man. Uh, he was close to a lot of that stuff, but and, and I know also that he never killed anybody. After leaving prison, Tony came out with a new desire, to act. He had very clearly broken with his past, and he had a new direction, but he wanted to use what he had experienced professionally, which he ended up doing quite phenomenally. One of his first roles, a low-budget mob movie. His brother, not impressed. I have to say it was a horrible film, in my estimation. But the roles kept coming. An episode of Miami Vice, a part in Goodfellas, and then in the late 90s, a supporting role on a lesser-known channel at the time, HBO. He said, it's called The Sopranos. I said, it's a singing. Uh, thing. He said, no, no, it's, <laughs> you wouldn't understand. Polly was a hit with the show's viewers immediately, with Tony bringing his real life history to the character. I think there were things that I recognized that people wouldn't know if they didn't know my brother, that were parts of his life. From his fear of germs to the perfection of his hair. And a lot of these uh, hand gestures. But that was different. The bada boom, bada bing. I mean, I heard that growing up. Tony's popularity spread here to Grand Rapids, where he often visited his brother. At a party with much of the local elite, Tony spent his time with a kid in a wheelchair. He sat down with that kid and talked with him the rest of the night, ignored all of these people in the room. A soft side that allowed Tony's family to have closure after his death. I think that soft interior is what made it possible for him at the end to go to confession and to receive absolution, which for me as a priest was the most important thing. And while the two brothers spent life on wildly different paths, Robert says he wouldn't have it any other way. We, we loved each other. I was so proud of his success and he was so proud of mine. Now, Father Robert Sirico had plenty more to say about his brother and even shared with me a few behind the scenes stories from his time visiting the set of The Sopranos. You can find the full interview with Father Robert on our website, on our YouTube channel, 13 on your side. Juliet. Thank you.